Hey, what's up guys? And this is actually a new uh, video I actually made. This vi this video or this playlist will definitely uh, basically is the basic tutorial of every single thing. This is not the same as greatest prototype. But this one is just like different separate things all at once. So what this uh, part I'm actually going to show you how to do is the lerp system, the vector tree dot lerp. So first of all, what you need is one item that you want to move. So basically, what lerp does is it actually smoothens your the movement from point A to point B instead of using like uh, transform dot translate or you're using physics to move like rigid body stuff like that there's actually another term that you can move things from a start to end position by using lerp this t term called lerp so first of all what you want to do is make a game object whatever you want to call it I, I put this material so that it's actually obvious to show when I want to play it so what I'll actually do is when I press A you will actually see the wall goes from top A, point, point A to point B in a very smooth position so what you want to do is first create a script create a C sub script, uh, I'll just call it look and once you make it, open the script so what do you want for this script? first of all you need uh, first of all obviously you need your game object, your wall or whatever you want to call the object, the object that you want to move so this will be the object you want to move Okay, the object you want to move and next you need uh, three things the next three things will be a start position so private vector tree start position I just name it start pose and uh, end position which will weigh on end so this is the start position and this is the end position so what you need next is the distance on how much you want to move the distance on how much you want the object to move so this will be a float so make a float and once you make that I will just put it 30 for now I put 30 but depends on your situation I'm not sure how much you, how much you want to put and have two floats where basically the first float is your load time basically how many seconds you want the thing to move from point A to point B so for now I put uh, 5 seconds for example so this is 5 seconds, basically it takes 5 seconds to go from point A to point B from start to end basically Okay, and then another one that will keep tracks on your current timing current load time Whenever, the, whenever you move so this will be current load time okay can catch up by now so this will just this will update the cup the load time so about that and I put zero for now and for for this case this one is only for my purpose of showing the video I'll just make a boolean he hit so let's say if I hit A then this will be true and then my loop system will work this one don't include this this is for testing uh, showing that tutorial purposes okay so first of all you want to find your game object wall you want your record what's your start position and your end position of the wall so what you want to do is your wall I mean your start position will equals to your wall dot transform dot position simple as that this is your start position which means when you start the game this is your wall start position so end position will be your wall dot transform dot position plus vector tree dot whatever you want let's say you want to move the wall upwards then you move up or you move the wall down then you vector tree dot down if I move forward backward all this direction thing depending on where you want to move for for now I put up so that when I press a single, single button like A the wall will go up times your distance which is 30 
which is 30 over here. Okay? So once you've done that, this is the part. So this one, if I just input a button, so if input dot get key, get key down, key code dot A, so what will happen? So this is only my part, so key hit will be true, and this is the part where you may want to take note of this. I'll just make it bigger. So key hit, if it goes true, if key hit is true, what happens? Your current time, current load time, which is zero over here, your plus equals to time dot delta time. And when this happens, uh, and let's say if <coughs> your current time is more than or equals to your lap time, which is five seconds, then I'll set my current lap time to be the same time as my lap time. That means you always stick to five seconds whenever it's more than or equals to five seconds. So this one just put the timing to the same. And next and last part over here is make a float. This is a percentage, basically. This percentage will basically calculate uh, the time you actually move your thing. So your current load time divided by your load time. And last but not least, uh, this part over here will be, I think your wall, dot position, is it like this? Yeah. So basically your wall dot transform dot position equals to your vector tree dot love, which is your last line. Start. Start, position, and position, and percentage. So once you're done with that, so basically if your key hit is true, then you will add, your current time will add, and as it adds, this thing will actually uh, determine how fast your things will move. So you actually, this one actually makes, will actually make your thing move from your start to the end. So once you're done with that, drag the script to the thing you want to move. Let me check this here. Let me just cancel this for a while. And what your wall is, just drag your wall this because you name it public right you put it public you just drag and drop this and so now if I press A your wall will move five seconds from point A to point B like this so it takes five seconds for him so yeah this is the part so this is the end of the part where you will know how to do the vector tree dot up already and yeah I'll see you guys on the next part where I'll see on what I can teach you or what I can show I'll see you guys then